Hi there, welcome back to the next ClickSense tutorial video and in this tutorial video we will going to look at the match function. So the match function compares the first parameter which is a string or a field values with the following ones which are the expressions or, or the string values and return the number of expressions that matches and the comparison is case sensitive. So one of the you know use cases is to sort or uh, custom sorting so for example let's do this uh, let's take a table and add the dimension add a sales group let's say you have couple of sales group right now the count is just two for the sake of simplicity uh, we have just taken two count but let's say if you have uh, five six seven different count and you want to have a custom sorting based on your needs of the business that let's say you want west as first one east as last one or maybe a custom sorting ordering that you need so how you can do that we'll see in this video so let's add a measure also and uh, measure is let's say sum of amount and here is the amount value now we'll come to sorting in the sales group we will remove the auto sorting and uh, I will remove this as well, this as well, and I will say sort by expression. And I'll specify the expression which is starting with the match, match sales group. So this is our field which is having the values on which we need to specify the custom sorting. And as I mentioned, I want west first and then east. So I can specify my ordering over here as you can see. This will be my ordering which I need and then I can simply click apply and you will see that west is now the first one and east is the last one. If you don't have this then east is the first one and west is the last one but if, if we enable this then west is the first one and east is the last one. So most of the times uh, I have used and many examples as also you will find is related to custom sorting but it has the lot of applicability based on you know the match function because what it does is uh, compares the first parameter with all of the following ones and return the number of expression that matches and uh, that is why it is uh, pretty interesting in other use cases which I will discuss in the future videos but mainly I wanted to discuss uh, with this simplest and most usable functionality which we need it day in day out for our needs so that's about it in this video and I'll meet you in the new video with the new topic